Hey, hey. Um, so, uh, someone was asking me how fast uh, Unreal Engine was rendering these uh, metahuman characters, so uh, I thought I'd just do a quick screen record of the rendering process. Um, the anti-aliasing is set to the default uh, temporal anti-aliasing method, which I'm not a huge fan of because of the like motion blur artifacts and stuff like that, but you know, if you're just trying to get something out that's fairly clean uh, and you don't care about overall quality uh, this is how fast it can render uh, out of Unreal Engine so let's go ahead and accept that hit render it's gonna take a bit to kinda load everything up into the renderer uh, I do have a 32 frame uh, pre-roll so like things like the particles in the scene and stuff like that will start moving um, and it's already at 31 of the 32, and pretty soon it's going to start rendering. Uh, keep in mind, I am screen capturing this at the same time, so um, using I am using uh, Shadowplay uh, to do it, so it's pretty low overhead, but there is still some overhead. Um, so once it actually starts going, you can see it's pretty quick. And we have a elapsed time and estimated time remaining, and so it's just chugging away pretty quick so isn't sped up or anything uh, for anyone not familiar with Unreal Engine um, the previous render I put out had a lot of like um, sampling noise and stuff in the background uh, but uh, because I'm running you know very old Xeons and a 1080 Ti in here um, ray tracing multi-sample anti-aliasing uh, versus uh, temporal anti-aliasing. Uh, you end up having to add a lot of samples and stuff like that. And so my computer was just crashing on um, these characters. But uh, And the scene itself that they're in is actually quite heavy. Um, and, you know, nothing's, like, optimized game-wise. You, know, you know, there's no LODs or anything like that. Um, and, we're, you know, it's full ray tracing with, you know, Monte Carlo, and, you know, uh, GI and ambient occlusion and all that kind of stuff. Um, there aren't any, like, reflection actors, so the background here kind of looks a little bit weird, although it shouldn't. But um, I set this scene up in a very old um, version of Unreal Engine, so um, I kind of have to gut everything and redo all the lighting and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, uh, you saw how fast that rendered, um, so I'm just going to cut it off here. Thanks for watching. Bye.